coming through 2019. I'm earlier three hours than I'm supposed to be and my body is now rejecting sleep. So let's do this. Nothing like last minute repacking because this, this was too heavy. So I had to take out some of the merch and put it in here. So now all my charms are in here and I, and I just, there's so much, so much stuff. Ugh. Ugh. There's so much. Hello. 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 Jessica. 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 He's a good. He's a good bomb sniffing dog. Yes, you are. You're a good bomb sniffing dog. You're a good dog. Sniff, sniff those bombs. Sniff all the bombs. You're a good boy. That's what you are. The boy is doing his best. Doing his best work. It's bomb sniffing dog. You've done this country well. You sir. very proud and true. You're a good boy. Hi everyone, this is Kiwi G and I'm at Komi Furo. There is very little people here and this entire place is the artist alley. I've never been at a con that's 95% an artist alley. But here we are and it's time to set up and it's very cold. I'm very cold. Oh my god. And after several hours, what time is it? I've been here since 6 in the morning and it's now 8 and the stand is done It's all done. There's so many people here setting up now. That's pretty awesome This artist alley is probably the biggest one I've ever been in um, Probably bigger than Comic Fiesta And here's Miruchi. Say hi Hello. He's my table partner and also translator because I'm bad at Malay and Chinese and I suck Look at how much of an asshole I am. Just like my shit is everywhere. Oh my god. I know that there's so much space back here, but I am still such a fucking asshole. I, I swear. I swear to god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll clean it. I'll clean it. So apparently we open at 10.30. 10.30? Instead of 9. So I just completely misread that. And now I'm going shopping. Thank you. Semangat jual jual dojinya. Despite someone telling me that they were not letting anyone in until 10:30, it is 9:30, and there are people coming in. fuck is going on? Cool. Well, this has fallen off multiple times today. More shit is falling off. My whole life is like, like, like everything is falling apart. See, like this fell off as well. This fell off. That's why. That's why they didn't understand what the fuck is going on. So now. Drink on the floor. I'm really sad now. I 
Except I'm smiling, but I'm sad on the inside. I I'm recording you drawing. What for? The goddess. For content. The queen is here. King of Oscar. Goddess. No, queen. Married to Alphonse. Yes. To pass down King, a verdict. Queen of As Asker. Yes, I just lost my father-in-law. Yes, yes. Father-in-law just yeah, died. Yeah, who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit about his father-in-law? Yeah. Doggo, 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 doggo. <laughs> Doggo, walking doggo. It's day two of comic. Fuck. It's day two of comic for real. I was about to say comic for yes, though. That's comic fine. Frontier. Huh? The, the it's called Comic Frontier. Yeah. I thought it was called comic for real. Fuck it. It's day two of comic for real. Yeah. We just finished setting up. I don't care what the the the, the this this says. Yeah. Everyone calls it Kami Fro and that's what I'm gonna call it. We finished setting up the stand. Everything is up. I taped everything down with maximum tape this time. So I hope that nothing will fall down. And if it does, I'm just gonna scream really really loudly. Yes. So we don't look Not like really. shit. No, but we don't like it's fine. We're not sweating like pigs. So that's I'm, a good thing. I'm about to. You're about to. Yeah. It's I, I think it's fine. It's fine. Cool. We had lunch, sold some stuff. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. It's pretty okay. Yes. Hey, so I'm uh, back from Kami Furo. It's a week since I um, well, it's been a week since I came back from it and it's been one hell of a week. I've been so tired. Um, it's been a while since I've done a convention like that and um, it's the first convention out of many this year. Uh, this year is probably going to be the most conventions I'll ever do in a year. So all of those things are exciting. Uh, first off, I want to apologize by saying uh, I'm sorry I didn't record a lot of stuff at Kami Furo. Uh, it's a new place, yes, granted, it's a new place, uh, but there's also new people, and I didn't really want to be shoving a camera in, in people, into people's faces that I barely knew. And um, yeah, that's basically it. You know, um, I was there with Miruchi slash Ken and Rokushu slash Shu. And um, it was a really great weekend. Obviously, the first day it was so hot that I swear to God, the glue was just melting off my masking tape and all my prints kept falling down. I had to get up on that table like 12 times. Um, the footage is all gonna be like wonky. And like, I mean, highlights um, definitely the place I stayed, which had like a god dog doing its little god duties every single day it was a new dog and i was just like it's a new friend and these dogs are really bad at their jobs and they do not give a damn if you're carrying a bomb on you or not they just they just they just want someone to pet them because they're good boys and um that's mostly it and um i think the highlight of kami I, I mean i was pissed on the first day of kami it was so hot I, I, I live in a tropical country and so take it from me when I say it's so hot, it's like I can't breathe, it's so stuffy, we're surrounded by 8,000 sweaty people as well, the air is thick and it's hard to breathe, I said all that already but just imagine it, or, or don't imagine it, just, just it sucked. Okay, and I was screaming at the top of my voice. I was like, if Komifuru is like this every year, I am not coming back. 
I swear to God, I would rather die. I would rather chop off my own foot and submit myself to this amount of heat. It's so bad. But um, I said I was gonna talk about the highlights. So I have to like fill this vlog in with stories from me because I didn't actually film stuff when I was there. I wish I did. Um, you know, I, I'm just a bit shy when it comes to filming other people because yeah, I don't I don't want to I don't want to like go into their personal space or anything or, or or anything like that. So anyway the definite highlight of Kami Fru has to be the second day. Um, there were less people on the second day and they brought in more air conditioners so it felt nice. Like it could have been a little bit colder but thank god it was bearable. Oh god, it was just so much more pleasant and it was just it was just huge weight off my shoulders. And uh, you're probably wondering why I have these two pillows here and if you hear a dog barking, that's my baby. My baby, my 5 month old little brat JD who is um still not learning to shut up but um I mean I love her, she's great. She's just a baby, so uh, disciplining her has been a bit difficult. <laughs> Plus she's stronger than me, she's only 5 months old. She tackled me once to the ground. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I have these. Uh, these are like Mark 1, no Mark 2, like 2.0 pillow designs. So you can see like the art I currently have for my pillows but no back to it. It's just because I have to tell you, if I, I'm not going to sit here and bore you with stories of the whole con, but I will definitely tell you the story of the end of the con, which was, it was me and Ken sitting on the table, by the table, behind the table, and uh, I was like, well, the convention's over in like an hour, and there's this tradition that people trade shit, and I guess I'm gonna, there's one kg of stuffing left, and I'm not going to take that home because it was too much trouble actually getting stuffing here in the first place. So uh, I guess I'll just chuck it. And then Ken was like, chuck it? Like, that's a, that's a real shame. That's like, like, that's a lot of stuffing you're just throwing away. And I was just like, well, it's not like we're gonna sell all of these pillows in like the last hour. Like, if, if we're not gonna sell them, what are we going to do with all these leftover pillows? And then an idea hit me. Probably the best idea I ever had at a convention because I had so much fun doing it. I just took all the remaining pillows I had left, stuffed them with remaining, like the remaining 1kg of stuffing I had, and took a whole bunch of babies in my hands like this and started going up to random people's tables. I wasn't even like checking for quality or anything. I just like this table has high Q. I have a high Q baby. Would you like this high Q baby? Hi, you. You have high Q on your table. Would you like a high Q baby? It's yours. Keep it. Adopt it. Feed it. I don't know what you want to do with it, but it's yours now. Here you go. And I just went around the whole convention chucking these at people. And honestly, I have to admit to myself, it was a fantastic icebreaker because all these people who were just like, you're just giving this to us? And I was just like, yeah. Um, of course I'll give it to like ran like I mean of course I'm gonna give it to you guys who else will I give it to like uh, just give it out to artists and then those artists uh, were so sweet and I had such a fun time getting to know them and giving them free stuff uh, they gave me a whole bunch of free stuff back and it was so so much free stuff that I can't even I've got so many gifts from people trading eggs with people. I just, ah, uh, it was just so sweet. I met so many people. I met, I made so many new friends that I keep in touch with on Instagram and like buy stuff from their store when they have stores online or just text them and just like you know just, just regular talking and it's just nice. It was just such a nice experience. You know, I felt like Oprah. Just like, you get an egg, and you get an egg. And it was just great. Honestly, that was the best part of the whole con. Just going a little bit nuts and just giving a whole bunch of stuff for free. And, and, um, because I didn't want to take it all the way back. And then, and then I saw a bunch of staff members, um, you know, volunteer Kami Furo staff members. They're wearing the yellow t-shirts and have a yellow hat on. And I, and at first I approached five of them. 
and I was like, um, would you like some free stuff? I mean, you guys have been working all weekend, and especially yesterday, that couldn't have been fun at all because it was so hot. So, um, you want some free stuff? Because I, I'm just giving some free stuff away. And, and then soon I had like around me like all the staff members, like all the volunteer staff members, maybe about like 34, and they were just like, can I take this? Can I take this? And I was like, here, yeah, here, yeah. also take this business card. You don't have to follow me, but if you want to, please. Uh, give me a follow, support my art. Uh, hey, yeah, you're taking this, take take, take a business card. I just like, I had a whole bunch of them in my pockets and I was just like, just and it was just, it was just nice trading with people and, and uh, uh, I had, I honestly had such a great time at Kami Furo. So when I saw the volunteer staff members, I was just like, take some stuff. Really, uh, I, I saw some people walking around and looking at stuff to buy. I have no idea if they had the time to buy anything, so I was just like, here you go. Um, just, yeah, you don't even need to um, follow me, but if you want to, here's my business card. Because I had a pocket full of business cards, because when I was giving out these eggs to other artists, I was also taking their business cards, and when I take their business cards, they'll ask for mine, so I was just like, boom. Here you go. And it was just like, it was just really great. Kami Furu was great. And it was a fantastic start to the Contour 2019. And I think I'll say it here first that Contour 2019, um, I'm not sure if there will be a Contour 2020 because 2020 is obviously the Tokyo Olympics. and. The Tokyo Olympics is something that I've been planning to go to with my family and my friends for a really long time and that obviously takes part during the summer which is a lot of my UK conventions so if I don't attend those I am really sorry but the Olympics I mean I have my eye on the website and checking all those tickets and everything you gotta plan those super in advance so uh, yeah, so all the more reason to make 2019, which is the year of the pig, and I'm a piggy, all the more reason to make 2019 contour 2019 the best contour that I could possibly make. So yeah, the next convention on the list is going to be MCM London. Good old MCM London, am I right? Just that good old where I started and um it's just a good old fun time this time we're all gonna be in a row with um nine other artists we make our own artist alley table we're gonna have pizza every day we're gonna get bubble tea we're gonna send heiki's boyfriend to just go and buy us bubble tea because he's not actually at the table like heiki's the one selling art so we can send him to go buy a bunch of bubble tea anyway the point is it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic and then after that i've got a whole bunch of new stuff planned and it's gonna be great so thank you everyone so much for watching uh next contour video is probably gonna be mcm london in may but i am gonna be trying out a whole bunch of new products so there's gonna be videos about that too so Again, thank you so much for watching and uh, let's make 2019 now, yeah! Bye!